everyone, welcome welcome, my name's Charlie, and today I'm hopping back on Quinoa but doing something a little bit different. I've been playing Animal Crossing every day and posting videos each month of the cumulative progress that I make, but the style of those videos doesn't really allow me to go into much detail about larger building projects. To address this, I'm gonna start making little side videos like this one for each project that I do and it should be super fun. For today, we're gonna work on Marshall's coffee shop, and Marshall was my first campsite villager, I love him very deeply, and his house has a very cute little barista sort of vibe, and I thought the most fitting thing would be to make him a lovely little coffee shop. I have a bunch of things that I've been storing away for this project. I'm not very good at building all at once, usually I do things kind of cumulatively, but I'm gonna try something a little different today and push myself out of my comfort zone. Now the first thing that we're gonna be doing, and the most important item in this build, I think, is gonna be this little powder room booth, which, if you turn it around, kind of looks like a wall, am I right? So my vision is to have these little powder room booths just lining the entire back of Marshall's house area. I purchased a lot of these. I spent a lot of money on powder room booths and do I feel a little dumb about it? Yes, but it's it's happened already so there's no going back. When I first saw these it really reminded me of the color scheme that Marshall has going on in his house. It's a lot of like black and brown and gray. A lot of muted kind of colors that come together and make a nice little vibe. Oh yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Uh-huh. Let's see. So, it should work out very nicely if we can just line the back of this area, just behind his house, and make it sort of the illusion that we're inside a building, like a really nice coffee shop, when actually we were just in the great outdoors. This is looking pretty good in, in my humble onion. I really hope I have enough. I bought like 15 of them. It took me so long because the Nook store, you can only buy five items a day. Wow. Wow. Okay, this is my finished wall. It's not perfect, but you know, nothing is in life. So we're gonna continue on because I'm tired of trying to deal with it. I want to have a counter space and I want to have like a dining area and the counter space, the house is in kind of an inconvenient position, but I do not want to spend a million dollars to move it. So I might put the counter space like right here and have it be sort of curved and then have the dining area in this section. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Just nod and nod and smile. Smile and wave. Smile and nod. So this is what I'm working with for the counter. I have that, I have this, and I have this. Oh, good lord. That is really pink. Can I customize that? I need to go try. All right. I am begging the lord that I can- I seriously can't customize that ugly pink thing. This thing is atrocious! Please, just let me turn it brown! No, this was supposed to be my saving grace! Okay, alright, alright, that's okay, you know? Everybody makes mistakes, everybody has those days, one, two, three, four, we're just gonna, we're gonna roll with it. The thing is, is that I just started this island and I don't really have that many recipes or that many furniture items, so I'm kind of just improvising. <laughs> New plan, because nothing is apparently customizable. I'm gonna take this. Oh yeah, look at that. This imperial chest turned around is actually the perfect fit for our counter. So I'm gonna use that, and then probably this podium. Oh, they're like the same color, that's perfect. So here's this. Um, pretend this is darker, please, for my sake. That is gonna be the counter space area. And then we're also gonna have some stuff that we put on top of the counters, which I think is gonna be very cute. I have, oh, I have to find it. Oh my gosh. So we have a coffee grinder. We have a kettle. We've got a, uh, a freaking dessert carrier and then coffee beans. And those things I'm gonna put on the counter, around the counter, I think it's gonna add a lot of depth to the area. Like, for instance, if we just take our coffee beans and we place it here, look at that! It's like you're in a real- oh, jeezum. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I- why- please, can you let me turn it? How the frick- okay, I have to like move this out just to have the coffee beans facing the way that I want. This is coffee beans. No! Maybe if I go at like a diagonal. Oh, good lord. Okay, you know what? Uh, we're just gonna get over it. We're just gonna put the coffee beans here and we're, not, we're gonna stop caring about the direction that it faces. So yes, imagine the coffee beans there and then if we get our coffee grinder right here, 
put it right next to it. Oh my gosh, so immersive. Why are the coffee beans so far? It's like they're social distancing. Something else I think that would fit nicely is this little dessert carrier. It's so cute, right? I love it so much. This is looking a little janky, but we're gonna let it go for now. So we have our counter space here and behind the counter, we need to put like a little bit of a kitchen, I think. I think that would be very, very cool. The one thing is I know the gas range is like white and I kind of want it to be black or something. I don't know if it's even customizable because this game hates me and everything I want to customize, I can't. Okay, perfect, just as I thought. Let's see, we can put dishwasher there. Oh yes, look at that, immersive. No, I actually hate that. Maybe instead we can approach this really differently and put like a bamboo partition here and the kitchen can be behind here. Oh, I really like how that partition looks actually. Maybe if I put this over here and I put this partition right here. Oh, I'm kind of a fan of that. Oh, you know what? The kitchen that I have in my house would actually fit this really perfectly. And I think I'm willing to sacrifice it just for this project. So let me go get that. Oh yeah, this counter would look really nice. Oh, but I love my kitchen. The things I do for Marshall, I swear. Oh, this, this hurts. This really hurts. Oh, I just had a brain blast. If we put the podium here, and then this is like the, the checkout, and this is just like the area when you're standing in line and, and you're waiting and you're looking at all the stuff they sell and you're like, ooh, a coffee grinder. I don't know, okay, I don't know. Oh yes, that fits perfectly, except the fact that it's the wrong color. Can I put a kettle on here? Oh, wow. That scale though, that's not equivalent at all. Another thing that I wanna do is put the little serving carrier, like the cookie, yeah, dessert carrier. I wanna put that right here. Oh, that looks so good. And then I wanna put the roost sable, ugh, Pippi, get out of here. Run along, yeah, run along, get out. All right, if we have that and then we have the roost sable cookie. No, no, oh my gosh. Oh, it's so small. Uh, okay, scratch that. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Wait, what if instead of the oven, we put our, our black mini fridge? That looks a lot better to me than the white oven. So I'm, I'll take it, honestly. I'm working with limited resources here, as you know. Okay, here's a thought. Maybe take this, put the coffee grinder on here, if we can. Oh yeah, okay. And another thing I have for over here is a shaved ice maker as well as like a mixer and stuff because I feel like coffee shops these days they're just they're just so ambitious. They always have smoothies and other stuff and and I'm sure that Marshall's is no exception. That really clashes though. Okay, maybe Marshall's is the exception. Scratch everything I just said. What if we put the dishwasher back here? Oh, that fits like so perfectly. Oh my gosh, that actually works so well. I'm so into that. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're really making progress. I think another good place for a bamboo partition would be like right here. Maybe we can do some sort of fancy little dining area along the river, you know? If we do that. Oh, I do like that. That does tickle my fancy. Uh, uh, eh. Okay, so this is like the little kitchen maker area. This is the checkout and dishwashing area. And then we'll have the dining area be sort of in this space. But here is gonna be what I assume the area people come from to get their coffee, you know? Maybe they come up here, but they, they probably shouldn't. So <laughs> I think if we put some nice paths down here, that would make it really, really stand out. I have these and I think it could work well. Oh, here's the thing. I want it to be three wide, but I only have the sides. Uh, oh, uh-oh. I'm just gonna search all paths and hope that maybe I can find it. Oh, I've done an oopsie. Is that sands? Ugh. Oh, 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 I actually found it. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank the Lord. So yes, as I was saying, I imagine this area down here being the place where people walk into the coffee shop kind of the main entrance of it. And I think that these planks look really, really good. It's it's nothing too fancy, but it gives it enough detail that it looks a lot better than it would if it was just grass, you know? Oh yeah, 
That looks so good. I'm so excited. Okay, 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 okay. Another design that I have is these wooden... It's kind of the same sort of thing, the wooden planks, but it's more of a flooring. And I'm thinking maybe we could do that in here. We can try it in the small area, and if it looks ugly, we can pretend I never suggested it. I want to do it back here too. I feel like when patterns integrate into the furniture really well, like stuff is sitting on top of a pattern, it adds a lot more depth to a little area. Oh, that looks really good. I love it. I don't want to overuse it, and I don't know if it would be overusing it to do it in this dining area as well. I'm not sure if I have any other designs that could look nice, but maybe if we could spin it kind of as like this is the inside of the coffee shop and then all the seating is at the outside, then that could be kind of cool too. All right, let me just set all these items back down. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, I really like it. <gasps> Marshall, Marshall, what do you think? Do you like it? Wait, does he like it? He seems like he really likes it. What are your thoughts? Grasshopper, that is exactly what I was thinking too. Oh, that looks awesome. I really, really like that. I'm so chuffed. Maybe some flower detailing kind of around this area. I'm not sure if I want it to be a subtle sort of thing like that or if I'd want it to be something more like that. Uh, I think the subtle one would look a little bit better. So let's just add that. I really like these subtle flowery paths because it's not that noticeable, but it adds just a little bit of detail that I feel brings more life to a build. So I'm kind of set on this being a little dining area. I'm gonna clear these flowers out and then craft some more of the bamboo partitions and then we can kind of bring those all the way along this river here and add some tables. Okay, so for this project, I bought a bunch of these diner tables, the diner mini tables, I think it's called. They just look kind of perfect for a coffee shop. I don't know if that's just me. If you think it's ugly, then uh, too bad. I'm thinking maybe one here. Maybe one right here? That could be good. It's kind of in the way of traffic, but you know, that's all right. One there, one there, and maybe right here, just like a little solitary spot to sit and look at the waterfall. Now on these tables, I do want to put stuff. I'm thinking I have like the cookie still. The cookie is a little too small for the counter, please. But it could look really, really nice if I put it on a table. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, so like a cookie on that table and ooh, a mug on this one. And then I think we'll leave this one empty, you know? We're not the most successful of businesses. We're not like bustling over here. We're just, you know, we got some customers sitting, hanging out. Oh, uh, what do I, I want to do? Uh, I need like pathing over here. For some reason, I'm getting like rock pathing vibes. I don't know if that's just me. Like to have some sort of rock trail that goes down. I feel like fancy restaurants always have that, you know? You have like stepping stones and you follow them and it goes into a really nice dining area. So if we do some alternations of these maybe? Uh-huh, I could see this happening. I could see this working. And I guess we could even have a little bit of a bridge right here. We could use these little like fairy garden steps and have an area that goes all the way over here. That, ooh, ooh, wait, brain blast. If we do that in between all the stones, I think that would look super cool. Ooh, that looks so good. Oh, that's awesome. I really, really like that. And maybe if we put some more of those planks down here at like the checkout counter, these ones. Oh, oh yeah, it's all coming together. Marshall, tell me you don't love this. I won't believe you. I just simply won't believe you. Oh, this looks amazing! I love this! I think I'm gonna move this coffee over to the front counter because maybe this is like where they sell the pastries and the coffee that they have. That just kind of makes more sense to me, like lore-wise, <laughs> in Marshall's Cafe. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. All right, so another thing that I think would be nice is I have a menu here. A little menu chalkboard. If I put that toward the entrance over here, that could be kind of cool. I wish that I could tilt it a little bit, but I suppose this will do. Maybe if I just put it like off to the side here. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Something I think would go really nice here is this portable record player. It's a little kind of vintage looking. KK Bossa is what plays in Marshall's house. And I think that that's like the most fitting Marshall song ever. So if I can get my hands on that, it's gonna go in this record player and be playing in Marshall's coffee shop. I'm gonna do the same sort of rock pattern with the garden steps design that I had going over to the right. I think it'll look nice if it just leads through to the counter so there's a bit of a natural progression to like where you're supposed to walk. How you liking it, Marshall? Looking good, huh? What a cutie. All right, some steps there. Oh my gosh, oh, oh my gosh. What if there's something really useful and good in this balloon? Oh. Please be something that I can use in this coffee shop. That would be lovely. Eh? Inflatable bird ring? That looks awful. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Okay, so I think the chairs I'm gonna use are just these wooden chairs. They kind of match the vibe, you know? Like the dark brown fits with this bamboo, fits with this counter. I, I don't know, I'm doing my best. Put one there, put one there. Uh-huh, oh yeah. All right, the last chair. Oh, that looks so good. I actually am kind of a big fan of these chairs. I know they're very simple, but they still look really, really nice because the color matches. I'm a big fan. I wanna put something behind here too. I'm thinking maybe these pots that I customized. Ooh, that looks kind of nice. Ooh, I do like that. I do like that. No. Please stop with the presenting. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I think this coffee shop is looking really, really nice. It might be done soon. Let's see if we can... This. I can't put stuff there. Be in the way. Okay, stop telling me that. Let me live my life. I don't know how I feel about these. I've tried to customize them before and they can't change the color. If it was darker, it might work. Oh wait, that works really well. That looks so cute. Place a couple of flowers, couple more items, and I think we're pretty much done. So let's do a little walkthrough of Marshall's coffee shop. We've got this area that goes up here. I might even extend the logs down further this way so that it kind of, I don't know, winds along the path and we can put flowers and stuff like that. But for now, we just have right here. So you walk through the party arch and immediately you see the kitchen area and we have our little portable music record player thing and once we get kk bossa i'm going to toss it right in there we also have a tea kettle coffee grinder some jars little pots and stuff like that i like how this area turned out it's nothing fancy but it does all work and fit together nicely gives me a bit of a coffee shop feel then on this side, we have the little checkout counter. If I can find a cash register, you know exactly where that's going. We also have the bread basket, coffee beans, little carrier thing, just different stuff you can buy at the coffee shop, as well as the dishwasher in the back, because you know, gotta do the dishes. And then over to this side, we have our dining area with these really nice paths that walk along here, the partitions, and just some nice simple tables with some nice simple chairs. I think it works. It's not the best thing ever, but it's gonna have to do for now. Like I mentioned before, usually when I build things in Animal Crossing, I kind of set things down as I get them instead of doing it all at once. So this was a little bit new for me, but I'm still pretty happy with how it turned out. And because I don't have a lot of items, once I get more, I'll definitely keep working on this and keep making it better and better, which is very exciting. It's all a work in progress. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. I'd I'd love to have you here. I'll definitely be doing some more videos like this. I have a bunch of design ideas for the island and especially for the specific villagers. So I'm really excited to get into them and I hope you like this type of video. I know it's a little bit different. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.